that's an inspiration. I, I've always tried to figure out what it is that I wanted to do. And at the end of the day, I just want to be happy doing it. Today is February 15th, which happens to also be family day. But more importantly, it is my dad's birthday. Uh, my dad is turning 77 this year. Yeah, because of my mom's 72. Nope. Yeah, 77, right? <laughs> I'll figure it out, but I'm pretty sure it's 77. Because my mom's just turned 72. No, she turned 71. And they are five years apart. So he was 76. So yes, I believe he's turning 77. Anyways, moving on. Uh, so this question was submitted by Don, and uh, Don is someone I've met through streaming and other communities um, and people who stream as well. So, and uh, she submitted this question on Twitch, and it is, "Who is your biggest inspiration?" And I have to say, to be honest, so. <laughs> My biggest inspiration would honestly have to be my parents, both my parents, because I'm, I'm, because a lot of the work I do is on reconciliation and understanding how trauma can affect people and intergenerational trauma can affect people, that you realize how much your parents have gone through to get to where they are today and understanding them more. Like, I wouldn't say I had like the best childhood ever, but out of all the things that have happened, I never, I never, you know, I'm going to turn this to a positive statement. I always knew I was loved. My parents would tell me they love me anytime they see me. My dad is, um, you know, both my parents, like they love their children. And both of them grew up in times when, in situations where they didn't have actual parents. They didn't have people that loved them unconditionally like they love us. And um, my mother, well, grew up with a, like in a broken family and then eventually was became the ward of Canada and then like went to residential schools and she was part of the 60 scoop. And then my dad also grew up in foster care. Um, was placed with foster families, usually in like farms that would usually just get children to like work the fields. <laughs> and uh, my mom's indigenous, my dad is non non-native, but they still had like really hard upbringing where they didn't have those, they didn't have a family, they didn't have parents. And so when I think of how we were raised, I see they were trying their best. And even to this day, like they still are just trying their best. <laughs> and above all, I've always known I was loved. And so for me, I see them pursuing things. My mom is one of those people that I always say <laughs> is a doer. You don't know how she does it, but if she says she's gonna do something, she's gonna get it done. And you don't even know how she did it, but she does it. <laughs> she doesn't worry about, oh, I can't do this, or I can't do this, or blah, 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 blah. She just does it. And to be honest, she kind of pushes me as well, because when I'm like, oh, I have to do this, this, she'll be like, Rita, did you do that thing yet? Did you do that thing yet? <laughs> and then like harasses me, but it really does push me to actually do it. So there's that. Uh, my dad's a little different. He's very like, you know what? I don't want to interfere in your lives, you know, blah, blah, blah. But you know, it would be okay if you did. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I'm definitely more closer to my mother, but I see my dad as well too. He didn't finish high school. He uh, was in this group home, this boys home till he was like 16. And then they were like, oh, you know what? You're an adult. We're gonna kick you out on the streets of Toronto at 16. And they did that. So he had to fend for himself and he became a musician. <laughs> uh, he always loved music. He can self teach himself any instrument. Uh, he's one of those people that sees music. That makes sense. Um, so he, um, yeah, 
he's a musician. He's done that for years. I've always said a lot of people had living rooms. I had a music room growing up in my living room uh, all the time. And um, yeah, he's just loved to do what he, he's loved to do music for a very long time. And that's, that's kind of his joy in life. Um, and, and he's also a writer. He loves to read. Oh my God. My parents both love to read. Actually, that's probably where I love to read. I love to look at stories because we always had books in the home and we always had like autobiographies. I remember when I was like, I think it was like 12 or 13. Maybe I was 14. Maybe I was 14. I read a book on an autobiography on the monkeys. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, it was very like, wow. <laughs> they lived a life. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, it was it was very interesting. My parents always had biographies and always had books. And my parents were both always reading all the time. And so I think that's where I got my love of reading and always having books around. It just, you know, so I could pick up any book at any time and read. And then, um, yeah, and my dad loves to write. My dad actually writes poetry. Um, he is on Facebook. He won't friend you if he doesn't know you, by the way. <laughs> But uh, he always posts poetry on there all the time. He loves he loves to write. He has stacks and stacks of songs that he's written, uh, poetry he's written. And um, yeah, he's very old school, so it's all on paper. And so, yeah, I would have to say my inspiration is both my parents for different reasons, but also similar because they just, they just are regular people doing their best to live in this world and uh, hopefully doing things they enjoy <clears throat> so for me that's an inspiration I I've always tried to figure out what it is that I wanted to do and at the end of the day I just want to be happy doing it and they inspire me to do that so I have to say it's my parents so thank you for the question, Dawn. Um, and happy birthday to my dad, um, Andy Greatrix. <laughs> um, yeah, happy birthday. And I will probably call you later and talk to you. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. In Alberta, it is family day. So I hope you do something with your families today. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch my previous videos. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, who is your inspiration? Tell me, like put it in the comments below and please feel free to share with me. I love reading what inspires other people as well too. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.